All right, today we will be disassembling a Dell Inspiron 7773. And to start out, we're gonna be using a 2.5 small Phillips head bit. After the screws are removed, we can pop the back cover or bottom cover off of the laptop. All right, once the cover's off, first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that little connector out and then remove the screws holding in the battery. Okay, now we remove any memory sticks. And the SSD drive. Let us remove the screw, pull it straight out. All right, Wi-Fi card, remove the bracket holding in the antennas. And just lift those antennas straight off. And you can pull the card out. All right, next we'll remove the hard drive caddy. Looks like three screws. And the hard drive just attaches with the two screws on either side, if there were one in this model. All right, next we can remove the cooling fan. So we'll go ahead and just pull that connector out. And then just unstick the tape. And then we'll remove the two screws. All right, now the in-out board, we're gonna go ahead and pull the bigger connector and then leave the smaller connector for the pram battery. Just move that free and then just kind of pop that pram battery up. So there's also a little piece of tape holding in the connector. So once you have that peeled back, lift up the little bar and then use the bar to pull that connector out. And then we can remove the screws for the in out board. All right, now we can go ahead and remove the heat sink. So we'll remove the seven screws. to say loosen since these are self-retained. So once you have those loose, just give it a little wiggle. And remove. All 
All right, so now we're going to um, disconnect the uh, discrete graphics card. So we're going to disconnect the ribbons on the motherboard side and then just pop them up with our fingernails. And then also undo these screws holding in the video card. can finish removing the cables that are holding and still attach the motherboard. This was pull up and out on that SATA connector. This type you just flip it up and you can pull out the ribbon. This type you flip up from the other side and then you can pull out the ribbon. Same with this one. And this one's on the front. And we'll pull out the connector for the speakers. Looks like there's one for the DC jack. So I'm going to flip that one up as well to release the ribbon, which is also a little bit stuck on with adhesive on the bottom, so you gotta wiggle it a little bit. And for the video cable, peel up and free that little bar right there. And you can just pull it out sideways. All right, now we can remove the screws. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and pull off that DC jack. So just take out the one screw and then you can remove it. Now, if you want to pull the touchpad or the touchpad buttons, you just have the Phillips screws and it's going to be held on with adhesive as well on the front. The keyboard, there's numerous screws holding in the backing plate and after you remove the backing plate, there's going to be a bunch of screws for the keyboard as well. Um, in this case, we're going to leave the palm rest and keyboard in one piece, and then we're just going to remove the display assembly from the palm rest. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open it up and fold it all the way open. And then we'll remove the screws for the hinges. That will free the display. So as you can see inside, the screen and digitizer is actually part of the front bezel. So the object is to just release the front bezel from the back cover. So 
can be a little sketchy, um, but once you work your way around, um, the last part is going to be the bottom middle. So for this step of some flat edge is definitely useful. So there's the inside of the LCD assembly. The hinges are part of the back cover. So if you need to remove the hinges, they'll just kind of unscrew it off the back cover. And then your LED screen is right here. All right, so this is how you disassemble a Dell 7773 Inspiron. If this video helped you or you liked it, please like and subscribe. Thank you.